The Old Oak is the latest film from British director Ken Loach. The film follows a pub owner, Tommy Ballantyne, as him and his patrons clash and become acquainted with the Syrian refugees who have received housing in their town. Over time, Tommy grows close to his new neighbours, who show him new ways of community and compassion, but this draws scepticism and prejudice from the locals in the town who feel vulnerable and threatened by the refugees' arrival. Ken Loach is famously known for social realism filmmaking and is part of a movement of British film called Kitchen Sink Realism or British Social Realism. Other directors who fall into this movement are Shane Meadows, Andrea Arnold and Lynn Ramsey. I'd love to do a video explaining this movement further. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. Social realism filmmaking, in short, tackles social issues such as poverty, homelessness and marginalisation with working class characters and stories. Ken Loach's films explore these ideas and The Old Oak is no different. The Old Oak is familiar territory for Ken Loach, skillfully addressing the forms of disadvantage that feel all too familiar for many of us these days. If there's anything that can be taken from The Old Oak and from Ken Loach's filmography in general, it's empathy. The Old Oak is a necessary reminder to listen to people's stories, not assume the worst of others, and to be understanding and sympathetic to each other's circumstances. The film also shows the power and value of community, especially during tough times when everyone is struggling in some way. When we are open to each other, we can see the parallels in our stories and help each other. These messages are delivered in a striking way with the use of non-actors. At least I assume they are non-actors because of how realistic their performances were. The film is very conversational with natural dialogue, accents and slang, making the film feel almost documentary-like. The simple shots and minimal use of score also effectively create a sense of realism and emotion. The last third of the film in particular is very emotional to get through. The Old Oak is often brutal and heavy-handed, but it's also a moving, funny and heartwarming tale of compassion and humanity. At a runtime of 90 minutes, it's a simple and powerful antidote to a lot of the current challenges we face in our communities. As always, thank you for listening in, and I'll see you in the next video.